You're watching Read Across America with News 4. Well, hello there. I'm Bela Walker. I'm the Bayside anchor and reporter at WTVY News 4. I'm so happy to be here with you today to read this book to you. Now, this book is called The Lonely Moose by John Siegel. Deep in the woods at the foot of a mountain lived a moose. He had no family, few friends, and rarely entertained visitors. He spent his days alone in the center of the lake like an island to himself. Early one evening, Moose was out gathering pond weeds when he heard a strange fluttering sound followed by a splash. In front of him was a small bird clinging to a lily pad. Moose hesitated for a moment, then tilted his head and offered his antler. Bird climbed on. Moose waded ashore and gently shook his antlers. Hey, thanks for the ride, said the bird. Then with great difficulty, he flapped his wings, rose several feet into the air, and then fell straight to the ground. Yikes, said the bird. Yikes indeed, said Moose. Night was falling, the forest grew dark. This is no place for a bird that cannot fly, said Moose. Bird, come now. My hero, you saved me. Quiet, said Moose, it's late. Now, early the next morning, Moose awoke to singing. Good morning, chirped the bird. Quiet, said Moose, it's early. By afternoon, Bird was hungry. They walked to the meadow to dig for worms. Try one, said Bird, they're delicious. Moose tried one, revolting, he thought. All summer long, their days were full. Most mornings, Moose and Bird picked berries and gathered weeds. In the afternoon, they bathed in the lake. Sometimes they climbed to the top of the mountain just to enjoy the view. Days became weeks, and the bird still, he couldn't fly. One morning, while out for a walk, Moose and Bird smelled something. Smoke? Fire! The sky filled with dark, bitter smoke. Moose ran. Bird fell. Bird, bird, cried Moose. Bird, he flapped his wings. He rose into the air. He paused, and then he flew away to safety. While the smoke cleared, Moose was alone again. Bird was gone. The seasons changed. Summer turned to fall and fall into winter. Now winter became spring, and Moose was sad. Where is Bird, he wondered. Now the weather grew warmer. Leaves appeared on the trees, flowers bloomed. The forest was coming back to life. Now Moose was at the pond gathering fresh pond weeds when he heard a familiar fluttering sound. Hey Moose, said Bird. Welcome home, Bird. I missed you. I missed you too, said Moose. And I brought some friends with me. Friends, said Moose. Moose, you can never have too many friends, said Bird. And that's the end of The Lonely Moose by John Siegel. One thing I loved about this book was at the end where Bird said, Moose, you can never have too many friends because no matter who you are, where you are, you'll always need friends to pick you up.